Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Inside A Gamer. Welcome back to City Bus Manager. Now, near release day, uh, I did do a stream on this. We had a good look. Uh, there's been a couple of updates, a couple of fixes since then. And what I thought I'd do is make a little series now as a video format instead of live streams. So in the live stream, I did try and recreate my real life depot, uh, the Galway Bus Errand Depot. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with the region of Galway because I just uh, know some roots and stuff as they're more fresh in my mind than what I used to do in England, say. And uh, But what we're going to do, as a lot of you know, is that I do run a Simply Connect bus company on OMSI. I am now going to be calling us Simply Connect. And uh, yeah, we now have uh, some repaints that I've made. Now, if people want these repaints, they will be available within my Discord. So look, let's start a new game. The company name will be uh, Simply Connect. I don't know what's wrong with me. Can't spell. I've only just woken up. We still got coffee in front of me here. So yeah, look, we're going to go back to Ireland. Uh, we're going to go back to Galway. Like I said, it's just something that I'm familiar with for us to make the routes. Okay, so we are in the city. We'll just go on to expert mode this time. Uh, so things will take a little bit longer, a little bit harder. And uh, capital of 100 grand to start. I think that's okay. Let's start a new game. Okay, so here we go. Here is the uh, map of city of Galway. This is the city where I am from. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I am going to put our depot. It doesn't really matter where the depot goes, in all honesty, as long as it's on the side of a road. Um, but there are a couple of bus depots down here. So that's exactly where we're going to put ours here on the road. Okay, so this is our little depot. This is how we're starting. Uh, so I'm going to try and think about this as best as we can. Obviously, eventually we can unlock more and more stuff. Uh, we do get this tutorial here, which helps us as well. And we'll just use it, I suppose. So equip your empty service center with at least one service desk, place seating and decorations. Uh, if you want to increase the customer satisfaction, service desk can be opened and closed by clicking on them. Provide at least two seating options. Uh, yeah, okay, we can do that. But I'm probably going to want to extend this building out just a little bit. Uh, so this is the service center. Uh, so $40 a unit. Um, I think if we put parking here, I do believe this can extend out a little bit. And uh, so let's... Uh... There we go. That's what I wanted you to do. Didn't know why it was in red. I think that will fit fine for the, uh, the bus is there. So now we're at the service center then. Uh, so we do need uh, some service desks, at least two. Uh, which way around are they? There we go. Trying to work out the best way to possibly do this. I suppose as you come in the door, you want both of them, don't you? We'll put a little gap there. There you go. They can have a gap between them all. I think that's uh, okay, right? Uh, we're also going to put an information screens up. We're going to put one for each. There we go. It gives uh, different things that are going off. Uh, just to make it look a bit nicer, we can put a trash can as they come in the door. There we go. Now, they need some different kind of uh, seating. Now, the armchairs I find a bit weird. Like, I've never seen an armchair in a depot, but apparently uh, these can, so maybe we will... Uh, I do like just the normal bog standard chairs. I think it's the the blue or these ones. So you know what? Maybe we'll go for... Uh, how big is these armchairs? Okay, so look, they can have some armchair seating. And then what we'll do, we'll put some uh, chair seating up this end. And I'm hoping a table will fit in here. There you go. They can have a little table uh, and so on. We will give them a plant as well. That's quite a big plant in here. We want it to look kind of nice, right? We can nearly probably have something in between these guys too. Trying to see what we got. To be fair, I think this is my favorite plant. Well, maybe what we'll do... I think that's a few too many now. Well, that one can definitely go for a second, and that one can go. And we'll keep the two that we got there, so people don't walk behind too much. Okay, uh, an aquarium. Sure, 
Why don't we put an aquarium there at the back where the staff are working? How nice is that? Okay. We now need to start building some offices and stuff, so we can do that. Uh, let's go into... Well, actually, what we probably want is the corridor first, right? Because we're not just going to build that off there. So, let's get a corridor. And the corridor is going to go all the way down anyways, and probably up. So we'll make it a decent size because we're going to put lockers and stuff in here. Something like that. I think that's okay, right? Tinted door because this is the door between the staff and the people. And it can have a couple of windows. I know it already comes with some, but why not have some more? There you go. That looks kind of nice. And then we're going to go for, of course, the office is first. So the office has to be five by three. Okay. Five by three. Really? That's small. I oh, know. Six by four is what it has to be. Minimum. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because it means we can have more staff. So there we go. I think that's okay. They can have a normal door. And we need to make sure we get our standing desk put in here for our researcher. They can just have it in the corner over here. Trying to make sure I've got it the right way around. You know what? They can have it up against the wall. And then we can make some nicer things in here. Uh, such as tables and chairs. Well, how about they have some nice comfy armchairs in here as well. For the staff, of course. There we go. Something like that. Uh, we'll put a printer in here. I think that's the wrong way around, isn't it? Nope. Nice printer. And why not get a bookshelf or two put in? There we go. Have a nice bookshelf in the corner. Uh, a standing lamp. There we go. Pinboard. So the staff can see what they've got to do. We'll probably put a couple of them in the corridor as well. There you go. I think that looks quite nice, right? And I think that's okay for the minute. I don't think there's much else uh, needed. We put a bookshelf up there too. There we go. Okay, so we now need to build the uh, kitchen. Where are you? The kitchen. Okay, so the kitchen has to be at least 4x4. Four four, but at this stage, we may as well just go at the same size. Uh, so 4x6 is going to be more than enough, right? Again, another just uh, bog standard door. We'll put it there in the corner this time. It needs at least one fridge. And uh, one vending machine. Okay, so we've got a vending machine for staff lunches. Look at that. Uh, but what we probably would want a table and chair in here, but it doesn't seem that we have like a table and chair. That would probably look a bit nicer. Put a couple of kitchen counters in here. Uh, trash can maybe. I never really see the staff in this room, in all honesty. A dresser. Okay, maybe. Make it look a bit nicer. No, that doesn't seem to be in the right place, does it? How about we just put a couple of chairs in here in case staff do want to sit in here. I think that's okay. Nothing too special for the staff. The canteen is usually the most disgusting area of a depot. Okay, and um, well, we need a bathroom. Uh, minimum 3x3. Three three. Uh, so this is going to make this one a little bit awkward. Um, but what I'll do is we have one room and a ton of toilets, maybe. We'll work it out. Okay, uh, tinted door, of course. If I put a cup. I mean, this could be stupid, but do you think they'll use them? <laughs> we'll just fill it with toilets, see what happens. Might save making more bathrooms. There you go, they've got a couple of sinks. Uh, no hand dryers? I thought there was a hand dryer in here. No, okay. We'll just put a plant there. One of those invisible window things. Okay, and uh, I mean... Yeah. 
Well, we'll leave it as that. We'll see what happens. Maybe they need to have uh, different doors. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Okay, build at least one more piece of road, and that's fine. Okay, so we're now on the street. And I want to leave a little bit of room here for the depot. Now, it might cost us later on, but we should, by that point, unlock more. Uh, we've got 81,000. It's not loads. So... Do we turn after two? Maybe after three, we would make that turn. Just to make sure the depot has enough size. Okay, we'll go that way then. Uh, what do we need then? Place two bus spaces on your premises. So obviously, we're going to start small. We are on uh, expert mode. So the chances are we, uh, we're going to need to start very small. I'm going to put... Let's put five in because that's the uh, limit okay buy two buses is what's next on that list so bus fleet no we don't have any we need to go buy some so we could buy some secondhand stuff um which is cheaper but my only issue with that is the uh, we'll have to then paint them and stuff so for the first few buses we've only got these two unlocked let's 30 passengers 12 comfort Okay, so yeah, our first bus that we're going to buy is the Sprinter. Uh, so hopefully the repaint is going to be working fine. Uh, this is the one. So here we go. It's the same color as our left-hand fleet. That is the color that we are going to go with going forward just for this series because I just quite like the new sh shades. I like the blue at the front. Okay, so we can apply that to this bus. First bus is coming in now. Uh, we do need to buy another one. We're going to get two sprinters to start with for our first route. Uh, we need to import our repaint again. There we go. So we've got two Sydney Connect buses have arrived. Okay, so we need to start doing a bit more work here now. So what it needs is, if we go back into our building mode, is it offices under or corridor? Uh, we need to start getting some lockers in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. We can put one down there. Uh, I am going to expand this corridor. So what's that? One, two, three. I suppose four is going to have to be expanded up there. So what I'll do, that'll do for the minute. That should do us for staff anyways. We do need two bus drivers. So now we need to start looking at uh some stuff that's what we want so let's go to all bus drivers we've only really got novice and trainees at the moment we want some people that are kind of friendly here you go uh lind reynolds you're hired anyone else i don't mind if you're a trainee as long as you're a little bit friendly we don't have oh, okay uh trainee here barbas holzman we're gonna take these two to start with we do need a mechanic. Uh, a trainee would be... Well, a novice would be better here. Someone... Here we go. He's perfect for the job. We do need a researcher. Friendliness, reliability. I think this one would be a bit better. So Edwina. We do need uh, a cleanup for the buses. Doesn't really matter in this sense. A trainee will do fine. Uh, and then we need customer service employees. Again... At the moment, one will be enough, okay? We don't want to overdo it with staff uh, at the beginning at all. So we've got some staff. Build a gas station. A gas station must be connected to the street. Okay, your buses need to be re refueled regularly. Okay, that's something that we do need to do next. Uh, what's that under? Is it street? Yep. Okay, so we do need a gas station then. Shame if this is a bit of wasted space. Um... Yeah, it looks like there's not much I can do with that little bit of space. Okay, so up here is where we're going to put the gas station. And we need a bus wash. Now, I don't think we need a large at this stage of the game. So I think a medium is going to be absolutely fine. Uh, we need a workshop. So place a lift. So I think the best thing to do is go for the medium lift straight out the bat. Okay, it can't. It has to be connected to the road, then obviously. Ah, that's a bus space. What am I doing? I was wondering what was going on there. Uh, lift platform, big. I don't think we need the big one just yet. I, I think we're going to be okay with what we have here. 
Um, and that's the closest that can go. I didn't think the buildings would interconnect like that. I mean, that's not awful, but okay. Not what I expected. We now need a warehouse, okay? So let's come out of here. How big does that have to be? At least four by four. Now, can I use some of this wasted space? We can. Let's put a decent sized uh, warehouse here. Why not? Uh, it can have a couple of doors. So it can have a couple of entrances in. They're going to need package shelves. Is all they really need in here, isn't it? So let's... Uh, get plenty of stuff. Okay, why have you handled me? There you go. I think that would be big enough for us. And it has used up that space. Okay, so we do need to start thinking about bus routes and stuff now. Obviously, we got the staff doing nothing. Um, I want to see what we do with the toilet side of things, I must admit. Okay, we do have some inboxes here. Okay, welcome to Galway. You're very happy that you'll be taking care of our local traffic from now on. To support you, you'll receive a subsidy of 179% on all income. You'll also receive a discount on all buses, spare parts, buildings, equipment. Looking forward. Uh, okay, so we do need our first bus route. Uh, so we do 10 to 15 bus stops from the central bus route. Okay, so we're going to slightly base ourselves off um the Galway routes but what i'm going to do is probably call them something different what do you have here for us the sports ground cladder hall hc medical center okay yeah so these are quite simple things what we have here in the city um i have to actually unlock these i just want for interest to see what that route would look like from for them Connect to the sports ground, connect at least to a train station. Train station is here where the bus station is, which is good. Every 60 minutes. Okay, you know what, let's make our own. Um, so just to make them, I'm not actually going to do the realistic routes that I have at work. I'm going to make my own routes up of areas that I know of the town that I think uh, would be pretty good. Because there's lots of our areas of our town that could do with an extra route or two. Um, so... We'll go up the numbers. Uh, we'll start with uh, route 101. Okay. And uh, I'm still going to base them out of Air Square Galway because that is like our main hub and it connects to the train station here. Okay, so we're going to start at stop 8. Okay. So this is actually kind of a, well, one way, go that way or this way. So it's going to come down here. We'll make a second stop at Prospect Hill. I've got to make sure I get the right side of the road here. I'm going to come further down. Down near the terrace here. So there's kind of a, a big kind of shopping area. This new business park kind of opening. Uh, we got Terryland. Oh, Terryland as well. I forgot about Terryland. So where have I come up for so far? So what we're going to do, we're going to follow the route up here. Because as you can see, look, there's lots of shopping. It makes sense, right? The beauty centers there. Uh, there's some more kind of shopping, pharmacies. Uh, Galway's College is up here as well. So that's pretty cool. Makes sense that we stop up here. They actually have a bus stop on the Trim Road, so we'll take that. Now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, what's the best way to cut back? It's going to be down this road like we would in real life, obviously. So we're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. This is the new industrial estate. So in real life, the bus route actually goes off down here. I'm going to send it back down Well Park Road. It's going to be a very small kind of loop. Uh, is it best to come in the back way here? It could be, you know, just for something a little bit different. Um, we've got Woody's here, the cinema. So we're going to throw a stop out here. This is actually the Galway College. There you go, Community College. So that makes sense on both sides now. Uh, if I put that stop on the wrong side of the road for its liking. Uh, yeah, that's, that's on the wrong side. Opposite the G Hotel, Dublin Road. Okay, then we're going to come down College Road, even though there's no college down here. Uh, we'll have a couple of stops. There's a lot of... Um, 
all of these are B&Bs, basically. So, little kind of hotel things. So, we'll pop down here. Uh, this is actually a hotel here. It's now called the Spirit One Spa. It used to, I can't remember what it used to be now. But it's a big hotel, anyways. And this will bring you up by the coach station. Um, so, we could bring it in here for a little bit of difference. And then back to there. There we go. One route. 101. Why is it AAW there? What happened there? Okay, first route. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, we're not going to make it too busy to start with until we start making some money. Uh, every 60 minutes, I think, is fine. It's our first run. In rush hour, we'll keep the intervals at 45 minutes where possible. You could probably easily run every 45 minutes, actually. We won't change that. Uh, we are going to make it later in the morning. And we'll go till 10 o'clock at night. As you can see, they're, they're not forecasting huge amounts. Uh, so that can be like Monday, Tuesday. Okay, that, that's taking days off. Okay, I see now. The whole route takes 14 minutes. So running every 45 minutes does seem a bit harsh now. So we'll run every 30 minutes. All week long, I suppose, is the easiest thing to do. We could take the Sunday off that. And we could do a Sunday service. So we could put a new timetable in, uh, which will be Sunday only. They're not going to start till... Well, the shops here don't open till nearly midday anyways. But we'll start at 9 in the morning. And we'll only run then. And we'll run every 60 minutes. I think that's how that works for this. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday is just an hourly service. Okay. I'm happy with that. So basically, they have 15 minutes if they get stuck to wait. Now, we can reduce that service later on, but we will need more buses. Uh, and we will, we will do that. Okay, so let's get out of here then. We need to assign a shift to a bus. Let's get a bus out. Check on your account balance to open financial overview and set ticket prices. Okay, so... Short distance tickets, let's put them down a little bit. Single ticket to 70, weekly ticket at uh, 29 euros, I think would be good. We'll take that down a little bit for a day ticket, I think. You know, uh, yeah, there we go. I think that'd be fair. So our staff never go home. I hope they fix these kind of small little things. Because that bugs me a little bit. Uh, what have we got? 22,000 in the bank. Yeah, I, I don't think we should go too crazy with this at the moment. We've got the one route. I think one bus might run that whole route, you know. We'll see. Uh, and we connect actually a decent part of the town by just doing that small little loop. Uh, and the bus is off. There we go. He's starting his day. It is Monday, uh, Monday evening, so he'll be finishing up really now. He's doing the last part of the day. He's surely not waiting there. Just want to see him do the loop. See how he, uh, how they're running it. It does look like one bus. If that's the case, I'll do another small loop, possibly. Hey, he's got two passengers. But hey, he's getting some people on and off. And again, he's got a bit of a wait here. So that one bus will do that route because of it's so small. I think that's a good way to start doing this, isn't it? And then again, he's off. And that actually frees me up now to have a second bus. And you see the passengers at the stops as well, which is nice. One, one, two, one. And they're a lot more realistic. On day one, there was like 700 people at a bus stop. It was mental. And very unrealistic. So I'm very happy with that first route. And he's now coming back to the depot, so we better slow down time. There we go. Bus is back. 
it's not very dead. It's only done a couple of runs, but look, let's get it clean. We have one cleaner at the moment. Now, where things will get difficult is the changeover of staff. We probably do need a third one for that. I need to see how that runs tomorrow because they won't run a full shift, obviously. We'll just get it kind of topped up to where it needs to be. Okay, replacement parts. I do want to get a few bits in. Lights are not expensive, so let's get a couple of lights in, a couple of indicator bulbs, a couple of wipers. Um, V-belts, we'll get a couple of oils in. Okay, tires, a whole set, 390. We'll get one in, we'll get at least a couple of brake pads. $630 uh, there. I'm going to buy that. Fill up the stock room with a few bits while we can. Bus is fueled. And actually, we're ready for tomorrow. We should be able to skip to tomorrow. We can time jump. We need to see how this first day is going to run. So we're going to sign our bus. And halfway through his shift. So look, he's only going to work till 15.40. Now, I don't know if he's going to come back. And we're going to need the second bus. So realistically, if it's a one bus route, you need uh, two buses, uh, etc. You always need that one for the changeover. Now, if you have multiple routes, buses will be coming back. There should always be a spare bus is the hope. Let's go out then. Let's watch him at work. Let's speed up the day. Let's see uh, how he's going. Well, how busy the rush hour might be. There you go. Got a couple of people at some stops now. They're starting to fill up. Oh dear. He's starting to. Oh dear. Uh, uh. Hopefully, uh, as it goes round, it's going to be okay. Can I send a second bus out on that? I mean, look, he's already full now. Oof. Ah, that's not great, is it? He's so full. Okay, he, he can take a few here now. Jesus. I suppose this is rush hour. Depends on the people getting off though, isn't it? Like, this is the busiest part around the town. Which is odd, because you could walk this in, like, five minutes. This is the kind of route that needs to be made. Because, look, this bus... This, this train station is getting busy. Bit unrealistic. Um, and he's getting screwed on his wait time, then. Can I put a second bus out on this or what? I wonder. Rush hour is now over, so I'm hoping it's going to clear up a little bit. I say that. Um, it may or may not. At least the bus stop numbers aren't jumping out of control like they were uh, the other day. They seem to be uh, okay. I mean, he can service the back end. It's the front end that's the little bit of a problem. Okay, we completed 10 tools though. Look at that. Yeah, look. Now he's out of rush hour. He's clearing it. But yeah, these small sprinters aren't going to last forever. They're okay as like a second bus on a two bus route, maybe. So it does look like we will need a bigger bus. Now, the issue I have is money. Don't really have the money for that kind of thing at the moment. So it'll have to be like this. We're on expert mode. So things are going to run a bit slower for us. There you go. As long as not too many get on at Air Square, he's okay. Before he leaves. See, there we go. It's, he's clearing it nicely now. And I'm, I'm assuming he's making profit as well. Now, the changeover will be coming soon. Uh, we've got some, all our parts have uh, popped in now, which is good. Uh, let's have a look at our finances then. So, so far he's made uh, 30, 
no today 618 in tickets so far so look we're making a grand a day at the moment on that one route uh that doesn't include all our wages and stuff so we'll do the change over the buses and then we'll have a look at one more route and then that is it for the first episode of this as we continue as it's on expert mode it will be a slower series okay see so now look we need to assign him ready to go before the next bus comes back gives enough time for the driver to sort its life out in here and we could probably do some research as well um I think solo buses is our first one, right? Okay. That's uh that's five grand of our money though. Alright, let's start that research. We might buy one more sprinter then, and that might get us through the next route. You're gonna see him head off now. Very, very soon. We, we we've really nearly carried all them passengers, it's crazy. It complains about the driving style. Yeah, those things happen. Okay, he's heading off. We'll see how much dirt and uh, fuel usage the first bus racked up in its morning shift. Can't believe we're getting so many complaints already. Now, we can train drivers and stuff. It's something that we will look to do. Okay, let's lay down our time so we can see where we're at. Driver's coming off for the day. We get it cleaned. Yeah, fuel's okay. I'm not going to go crazy and make sure these are always uh, done up. We'll wait till they're a bit more desperate. The main thing is cleanliness inside, I suppose, and condition. I've only got one cleaner. Okay, so we're going to go to the marketplace. We do have the Cito. Uh, it sits not many more for the money, to be honest with you, does it? Um, router, indicator, engine, air conditioning. Okay, we're going to buy one of them. Let's get the repaint imported, which is here. Nice. So we do have another bus. And not enough money. <laughs> which uh, now I can make a really short, maybe just morning timetable for the next route. Something a bit different. Make money. I won't need as many buses. Maybe we can have two or three hours off in the afternoon. And that is a good idea. So, we're going to start our next route. We're going to call this um, Route 102. And I'm going to call this A, actually, for now. Because it's going to be a very short route. And it's going to run. But hopefully the fact that I only need one bus. That is my plan. Right. So, this bus, we're going to start it down here. Okay. Okay. Uh, down at this, uh, I suppose the closer we are here, the better. So, Air Square is probably the best place to actually start this one from. And I was going to take it down to the beach, but in a fast road down to the beach, down here and back. It's just going to be a quick loop. That is the plan. Okay, so we're going to go from nine. We can stop there. We will stop at the Spanish Arch. It is a big tourist place. There is colleges here, so it makes sense that we're going to stop down here. Uh, go round the roundabout, down through these housing estate. And this could make it a little bit busy. And then down here, you've got cafes, you've got the shops, you've got the beach, we've got the, uh, the gift zones. So down here at the sea point, we don't want too many stops because we'll get screwed on passengers. And yeah, that's where we're going to loop this. It's going to then come back. Uh, we can stop at the shops. Two stops at the shop. One down here because it's a service station. Back at the cafe. Bus stop here, bus stop here, Spanish arch, and then I want it to go all the way into Galway then, and then it, I don't know, it just turns around by itself by the looks of things. Why does it do that? I don't know why it does that. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to start this one at 7 in the morning. It's only going to run... Uh... I want to make it shorter because I don't want so many buses. I think 30 minute intervals would be fine. I need to work out how far... We need to advance this, don't we, really? Again, this is a 15 minute loop. Um, every 20 minutes is fine. Should be fine. 20 minutes during rush hour. 
Again, I'm going to start this later. I'll take away the Sunday bit for the moment. Allow bus route changes within a shift. We'll allow it. Okay, then on a Sunday, we need a new timetable. So instead of splitting it, because uh, it'd be a bit more hard work, I'm actually just making it very short. And we're going to hope for the best. Okay, so on a Sunday, it's not going to start till 9. And it's going to finish at 3 o'clock. There you go. That's just the shift. And again, I'm going to make this every 60 minutes. So there's not that many runs in the day, maybe. Every 45 minutes on a Sunday, I think that's actually fair. Uh, there's a lot of waiting time. People might not be very happy with that. We're going to confirm that then. Uh, let's go back to our depot. And let's assign a bus. No, I do actually need a third driver now. Um, so let's see who we can get that's half okay. Anyone new on the list? You. And I think we're okay with the amount of staff. Like I've said, we've got to be careful. So there we go, guys. We have two routes now available. So we're going to start picking up passengers very quickly. Let's just see how busy that second route might be. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's just starting now. I mean, he's probably only going to get two or three runs in for the rest of the day. He hasn't got that many to do. You're getting busy again because it's rush hour. I just want to see this guy head off. I just want to see the bus stops pick up passenger-wise. I mean, he's taken a lot of passengers in one day on his own. So, what, what time is this guy leaving? Okay, Ooh. five, three, okay, sugar. This might be a bit busier than I thought it was going to be. Because they're all going to head back into town. Oh, why does he do that? He should just go straight down there. Okay, I might need to amend that. It's okay. I mean, he's not stopping. He's just driving in a bloody circle. Ah, uh, it's because that stops in the wrong place. Okay, I'll fix that. That's not a problem. So there we go. Um, he seems to be clearing his routes okay. Like I said, the college is there. The Spanish Arch. This is where a lot of people want to come into the town. They can change over. That is a short walk across the square. Two second walk. So if they do want to go down here, um, now normally this route would head all the way down this way. I'd actually have to unlock a bit more as well. Uh, so for now, I'm quite happy. I'm happy with how we have started the game. Okay, guys, so let me know in the comments down below. Do you want to see some more of this? If you do, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, join us on Discord. And other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye for now.